so it's Friday, 22nd of April. Um, not much to say, I'm just going to get on with the reading. So I've shuffled and um, split and knocked all your cards. So I don't know which ones I'm going to use. I don't know what sort of spread I'm going to do. Probably just... I think that maybe the Divine Masculine Divine Feminine again. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. Don't do that. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom there. So, coming into a new awareness, Divine Masculine, coming out of their heads. <laughs> This is interesting. These cards keep coming out. Charging in, healed, connected. Moving away from the energy that was holding you back in some way. These cards are covered in runestones. I noticed this the other day. This is a light seer deck, by the way. Overall energy for the divine masculine, death, rebirth, transformation, change. Divine, those who identify within the Divine Masculine Energy, you have, according to the cards, been through a change of uh, something has happened, an experience has happened that um, perhaps, I don't know, I don't know, something, is, something that happens where you came from a place of wounding or dishonesty um, or ego you appear to be in your in your more feminine energy you'll be you're more balanced you seem more balanced and you're moving away from things that I feel in the past that were holding you back you're having self-awareness, self-compassion and strength for yourself and perhaps self, hopefully, self for other people as well, uh, strength for passion, compassion for other people and other people's vulnerability as well as your own. There is a sense of urgency if you want in to end this stalemate situation, this, this energy of death and rebirth that is here with a situation of some sort divine feminine where we are looking at our investments looking at where our energy is going assessing that on oh, the strength and compassion as well and vulnerability accepting our own vulnerabilities our own strengths Self-compassion, self-love, honesty. I feel that there's honesty so far on both sides. Honesty of self on both sides. People have been working on themselves. And just pull what's next to that. Still challenges. We're still not, perhaps not let something go. Wanting a new beginning though. Been offered a new beginning. A new beginning has been offered to you in some way. Maybe the challenge is to accept that or not accept that or to choose to know what the choice is. Hangman, well, I mean, the wait is over. <laughs> you to find out. Uh, all right, okay, is uh, fairness, <clears throat> balance, ace of swords, new energy, new way of thinking, new logic, new perspective, new information, new clarity. 
that's uh, the overall energy for the divine feminine. A new a clarity around the situation, perhaps this situation, um, where you're where you're looking at your investments, where you've put your investments and your time and your energy. What's 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 rooted, what hasn't, filling out those seeds, um, focusing down on on different smaller sections, having self compassion uh, and strength to um, to continue on your journey through challenges to this new beginning that you want. The wait is over for this new beginning. There will be a sense of fairness and justice and rebalancing in your world, in your energy. It feels like in both there will be a rebalancing in both. Okay. Blended. What does this mean? These energies. These energies are to come together. 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 In some way. To work together. To whatever. Oh. Three of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, that's really nice. Want the Ace of Pentacles together, three of Wands, action and adventure, taking taking action, stepping forward, working together on a collaboration, healing. How beautiful. How lovely. Do the work, heal the shit. It's really nice. It's really nice. Whatever this applies to in your life. High Priestess again. Beautiful. Working together. This is a really nice energy of working together. Queen of Wands in reverse. And I kind of like that because that's like, I want to put another one. That's like that. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like that. Even though this is in reverse, I feel that for this, it's like that arrogance. I don't know. It's just. Well, there may still be some, there may still be a little bit, a little bit, uh, 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 that sort of, <laughs> that sort of energy a little bit, but that could be someone else. There may be, you know, a queen of wands in your life, gregarious figure who's a bit pissed off, can't believe that, you know. See, the Queen's kind of, you know, self-assured, confident, really good delegator, you know. And it could be that, that, you know, that's an imbalance and you don't feel self-assured, you don't feel confident. That could be both parties, that could be an, a separate party, I don't know. Five of Pentacles in reverse, though, it's like coming back out from being the gold. Using your intuition, healing, this collaboration, this new beginning, this... So that's a really that's a really hopeful oh justice on the bottom again interesting oh these by the way ashley cook's tarot bluestone tarot in the original tarot which i don't think has a name other than ashley cook's tarot okay not that that's a bad thing but so we have death and transformation as the energy for the divine masculine we have um uh, the Ace of Swords, so clarity, a new perspective for the um, change of direction for the Divine Feminine. Really, I think it's a change of perspective. And for the blended energies, is this justice, this rebalancing, the healing, this just moving forward, taking action towards something positive, um, something high, high, some higher connection or way of connecting to to really bring about harmony and balance. I'm going to pull on this one first because this is this is the only one that's bothering me, really. I know it's... The, I mean, this is in reverse, but I understand why. Well, I understand why this is... But I don't... Not completely. So I'm going to just pull on that first. My hands are very dry at the moment. Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse here? Two of Swords. <laughs> I wonder if this connection will hurt somebody else. So if they're, if this is a job and somebody's going to lose their jobs for somebody else to get it, or there's a promotion or demotion, or I don't know how, I don't know. Um, or if it's a relationship and one is ending and another one's beginning, which is not really ever a good idea to be fair, but you know. 
it is um but i feel like perhaps this is it feels like something this feels like it's totally somebody else um that may not be happy well they're um they're also taking action <laughs> so i don't know perhaps you've got a fight on your hands perhaps somebody is competing but uh we attract we don't chase so you know if somebody's chasing then you shouldn't be chasing me because it's not for you so but we all do it so that's what i'm going to say about that um let's do the five of pentacles in reverse the tower oh that not feeling left out of the cold anymore already making that something is gonna there's gonna be some thing <laughs> hmm. so high priestess was my question there the moon which is also kind of intuition Uh, uh, five swords. Did I actually turn over? Yeah. Five swords. Five swords is beautiful because it's about healing. Oh, look, the sun. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Three of Pentacles. Collaboration. Cards are really like Ten of Swords ending something from an old energy changing into a new energy. Whatever way this works, maybe you're due an apology and you're going to get an apology. Divine Feminine, if you're looking, looking for an apology, you're going to get an apology. It feels like you're going to get an apology. Divine Masculine looks like he's know, hasn't been clearing his name or putting something right or I don't know. I feel like there's been some less than honest behaviors from the divine masculine in whatever this situation is and the fact that you are connected more with your intuitive side with your with your more feminine energies um and balancing that within you right being one or the other that you say it seems like you are releasing some of your own toxicity and being aware of your toxicity in a relationship or employment or whatever whatever that is for you some situation where your ego has been out of control and you're work, you've worked it out and you're and you're moving forward into this better place you're understanding yourself more understanding why you react the way that you do why you've reacted to certain triggers the way that you do you're seeing it and you're learning from it and moving on so fucking well done that's fucking awesome um because it's not an easy thing to do especially when you're not used to those energies i think and a lot of the masculine those who sit very much within that masculine energy find it quite hard um to sit within the feminine because of how much you've grown up discrediting it having it discredited to you by your elders and such like you know what i mean so you're quite afraid to feed it i think in a lot of cases which is why it's so much easier to slip into that toxic because it's such a fucking mirror of not being able to step into your masculine feminine energy uh, which I would call the protective masculine, but you're doing it so fucking awesome. And the divine feminine seems to me to be, you know, changing their perspective on how things are or their perspective on how things are, looking at where their investments, deciding what they're going to keep investing in and what they're not going to keep investing in, um, having self-compassion and, and awareness. And, and I guess for other people coming towards you as well, there is still this is still challenging for you um but you have got your eye on a prize a new beginning and the wait is over for a new beginning because one way or another you know you're going to get your justice you're going to get this balance this fairness is going to be returned this this the balance is going to be restored and you will be able to move forward into a new direction there is an end of a cycle i don't know if it's come out there there is a definitely an end of a cycle happening here um and you can you know and both divine masculine and divine feminine are moving forward in a positive and constructive, authentic way. So that's amazing. And blended these energies, um, they are very much talking about 
keeping the faith here and keeping an eye on the prize and this healing is going to be so rewarding you know this working together really stops whatever the bullshit was uh in the past you know it's done with which is which is awesome this is a bit shady that's so shady i don't know it just feels like there's some disruption going to happen the practice of pentacles queen of wands in the upright now i think this is you now divine feminine or divine masculine whatever the energy the you're embodying upright perhaps the energy together this new beginning together perhaps gives you both this energy not necessarily together but this new perception of things this new position that you find yourself in emotionally how you feel about things is going to lead you to both being in this energy of being this productive leader this charismatic leader that can delegate well and you know can be kind of free-spirited and and uh you know self-assured clearing this air is maybe what's going to bring you into this situation Ooh. three of wands knight of cups and the king of pentacles now i feel like that is very much the divine masculine there uh walking towards the the divine feminine with this this cup with in this position of having mastered himself in some way. There's definitely been a movement forward and a stepping up of energy, energetically at least, as the cards are reading. What happens in the real world, you know, is another story, isn't it? Because, because everyone's got free will and they decide what they're going to do. Um, let's do a bit more on this three, five of pentacles in reverse here. Eight of pentacles. Well, that, see that, that working on themselves um stepping forward into the you know this is coming out of the cold you know that's out in the cold when it's only the other way around you know feeling like you've lost out this is like i'm not losing that i'm not letting go of that i've done the work i'm here surprise you know so if you, if any of you are not expecting your divine counterpart to step up somebody is stepping up here there is there is somebody is not letting this you know you're not you you either you know getting a raise or you're getting getting, getting somebody serious about you or you, you know there's this is genuinely real i'm not seeing much in the way of love here but i think there, there is love here but i think well obviously in the night of cups but i think it's tentative you know i think i think it's more kind of person to person <laughs> i don't know just i think it's about respect actually love comes after that really doesn't it Do you know what i mean it's really about it's about respect is what i'm what i'm feeling here what's on the bottom deck new beginning though that's great new beginning very nice okay let's do some I have a mouthful of coffee while I think about it. All right, sassy. My sassy car's going to come out. We'll just ask for a little bit of, little bit of advice. It's a nice, it's a nice reading. Um, uh, it's a nice reading. Whatever happens, I feel like somebody's going to step forward and have a real conversation and i think that you the divine fem i can feel like that's the divine masculine and i feel like the divine feminine i feel like you're actually in a place where you could listen without the weight of the past on what's being said to you so you can make decisions based on now than before but i also feel like and which is, and I think that's that's gonna you know lead to this being able to be a healing situation. But um, as I'm constantly saying, everybody has free will. It's all very well when you imagine things in your head, it's actually doing them in real life, isn't it? And not everybody does step up and do that because some people's shadows are too painful, some people settle, some people completely change directions. I don't know. But you can't never tell really so 
So guys, for you know, ultimately what could what's the what's the best that can happen, <laughs> or maybe the worst. I don't know. It depends. But let's see. What's your advice for the collective, not divine masculine and feminine? Oh, okay. Prepare for this. Look at that. Prepare for this. For this. This incoming messages. It's gonna blow your minds. <laughs> it's gonna blow your tiny minds. I don't know, it might be a bit deceptive though. Look out for deception. Oh, I hate it. Why well, can't... Oh, is it King of Cups though? Maybe, maybe... Oh, I don't know. Now, some of the... Maybe some of the... Hold on, let's pull one more advice. I mean, it's deceptive words. I, oh, actually, do you know what? <laughs> I feel that perhaps, right, this, this is going to come as a massive shock, this communication. And I think that there is going to be a little bit of manipulative communication within that. There is a, there has been in the past the tendency of this divine masculine to... <clears throat> um, present in a ego sense in a in a uh, that makes him seem deceptive I think you know like when someone comes at you like a big man you know I've got fucking 200 mates and seven of them are millionaires and you know, just like you know what I mean I'll get anything you want darling geese up if I geese up do you know what I mean prick <laughs> so I think that to hide the to hide this King of Cups underneath it, I think there's a little bit of bravado within this power. Um and I think that you're being cancelled to Well actually no that's bullshit. I was gonna what I was gonna say was you've been cancelled to look underneath that, but fuck looking underneath that. You see what's fucking right in front of you. You see what's real. Watch this motherfucker. Squat up. The advice is here. <laughs> and the judgment. Like, you know what I mean? It'll, like, it's going to, you know, like, the, the truth with that. How it is will be, will be shown. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah. Connect to your higher wisdom, you know? Be aware of the lessons that you've already learned, the work that you've already done on yourself, the work that you've perhaps you've done on this relationship. Oh, the magician oh, and the ten of swords. It's gonna. It's ending. It's ending. And you are. Oh, look, manifesting. Bam. Bottom of the deck. Ten of coins. Whatever. Whatever happens. Whatever happens. There is going to be justice in this situation. Do you know what I mean? It, absolutely what is right is gonna is gonna prevail yeah like this is this if this if this happens the way that the cards are excuse me saying then this is going to be a really nice outcome not the hearts and flowers outcome that perhaps some people want um and what i see here is a connection that has a lot of work ahead of it for it to be worth anybody's time, I think. Um, the Divine Masculine's got a lot of work to do, just in general. <laughs> just in general, do you know what I mean? Uh, and the Divine Feminine, like, you know, is losing a lot of patience, so their tolerance is, is not as... Not as um, um, lax, perhaps, as it used to be. Do you know what I mean? I think the Divine Feminine is tired of mothering everybody, uh, I feel. Maybe, perhaps, it's my age and I'm putting that into it. I don't know. <clears throat> but there's no empty nest syndrome fucking here. There might be, but they haven't left yet. So, <laughs> at this point. But anyway, um, yeah, it's looking like there is going to be a... Um, some communication, the situation, something 
that is going to rock things for you, um, both divine masculine and feminine. There is going to be some something, some connection that has been out of balance is going to be put back into balance somehow in your world. Uh, and you're either going to walk away from that as two separate people, which I think is the way, or um, um, as two people who are more connected. I don't know. You let me know. Let's see what happens next week, see if this happens. So this is good for a week. So between now and next Friday, prepare yourself for a conversation that might blow your mind. Take care. Have a good one.